This intercession is taking place in the Lucker area of South Wales, an area which is so noted for the Welsh revival starting in late 1904 and associated with Evan Roberts. And behind me is Island House, the birthplace of Evan Roberts. And the intercessions are very much to look at what is true revival. God himself coming down in the community. God himself bringing that great conviction of sins. And God himself bringing those into a living relationship with himself. And Evan Roberts was very much one who gave himself entirely to God in full surrender. Yet there are those who come of more recent times, uh, charismatics, who have no understanding of what true revival is, no understanding of the full surrender to God himself, and for the living God to be living in and through them to God's glory. So it is to remove these blockages so that God himself will come down once more in these days because he is the unchangeable God. I am the Lord, I change not. Psalm 23 and the third verse. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And that's very much what it is. The God himself restores men and women unto himself. That he had created in his own image. Yet sin had entered into the world. Sin, rebellion against himself. And St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 21, and the 21st verse. Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, if ye have faith, and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. O God, there is none likened unto thyself. For thou art God, and beside thee there is none other. And Evan Roberts very much came to realize who you were. He would have been born again of God, and his life as it progressed was drawn not just close to thyself, but he knew that you were at work in him to your own glory. Yet there are those who have come on the back of the name of Evan Roberts and see that it was Evan Roberts that was very much the one of this revival, that which Evan Roberts did not lay claim to. He saw it was God himself who was at work. And he was just one who was used by God. He broke through 
in prayer. Spent many, many days, weeks, even months, praying and believing that you would come in revival in Wales just as you had done in times gone by. And I call upon thee for a real move of thyself in true heaven-sent revival. The God you will come down, come down and fill the whole community and revive thy work in the midst of the years. And that all blockages to you moving in almighty power shall be removed. These blockages in the name of Christianity and church and particularly those charismatics who have not the understanding of what true revival is. Do not understand your word and are centered upon an experience which is an experience for themselves rather than that which is purely of thyself and for thy glory and thy glory alone. I stand in the gap before thee and call upon thee that you will come once more. The conditions have to be met. And when the conditions are met, there is nothing which will prevent that move of thy spirit and your coming down to reveal the Lord Jesus Christ, thy beloved Son, on the cross of Calvary, laying down his life for his friends, giving his own precious blood, is a turning blood that those who are convicted by the Holy Ghost, when you come down, you bring that conviction of sin, righteousness and judgment. And you, the Lord Jesus Christ, are seen as the, as the one, the Redeemer, the Saviour, and the Son of God, the God who commendeth his love toward us, in that whilst we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. This intercession is given unto thee, and given that you shall be glorified through thy Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.